Hi, I am Tiffany Lujardo, and today I will be presenting my science fair project. So, the title of my project is Bacteria, Bacteria, Everywhere. See what's growing in your home. The purpose of my project was to see which one of these household items will have the most bacteria. My hypothesis was that doorknob will have the most bacteria. The material I used to do this project was a doorknob, a toilet, TV remote, cell phone, four petri dishes, purified water, cotton swab, a box, the heat, tape, and a sharpie, and nitro agar. For this project, our procedure included six steps. The first step was to add one to two drops of purified water onto our clean cotton swab. Step two was to rub the cotton swab onto your sample one at a time, making sure to cover the entire cotton swab with the invisible bacteria. Remember, you must use a clean cotton swab for each sample. Step three, open your Petri dish and lightly rub the swab onto the agar using gentle strokes. Step four, close and tape your Petri dish, label it with the name of the item tested, and put it in a Ziploc bag to make sure the bacteria does not go out. Then place them in the box upside down. Step five, after you collected and labeled all of your samples, put the Petri dishes in a dark one place for three to five days and record the growth each day. Do not open the petri dishes. Step six. Dispose of the petri dishes, leaving the samples in the sealed Ziploc bag. Remember, do not open the Ziploc bag ever. Okay? And my conclusion was, in conclusion, my hypothesis was correct. I predicted that the doorknob would have the most bacteria. During the first three days, 72 hours. The sample taken from the cell phone was growing at a much faster rate, but the fourth day, 96 hours, the sample taken from the doorknob was higher than the cell phone and had over a hundred colonies. More than by the end of the fifth day and the final day, 120 hours. My abstract was that you had to swap the samples were taken from four different household items. The doorknob, the toilet, the remote control, and the cell phone. To determine which of these items had the most bacteria. The samples were collected in dark room areas and absorbed over the courses of five days. We absorbed each and every one each day. I learned that although it is invisible, bacteria does grow each day and it is all around us. So it is important that we keep ourselves and the things around us clean, especially now that we're dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic. These are my daily uh, records of how the bacteria was growing from cloudy to still cloudy, but it was growing to where the toilet started showing signs of bacteria, to where we were getting signs of less cloudiness and almost mold, and to day five, when the doorknob presented mold on the petri dish. These are my results. The first day, all of them were cloudy. The second day, they had about almost over 100 colonies, and each day we recorded it, as it's shown right here. But at the end of the day, the one that had the most bacteria was the doorknob. Thank you. And I hope you have a good day.